right. Hey, one of my favorite lessons today, inspired by my friend Waylon and his sister May Charles. Uh, we're talking about the planets, and I just happen to know uh, a cool way to think about the size of the planets and how they compare in size to each other and how they uh, compare in size to the sun. And uh, so um, I found years ago, many years ago, I found a professor online that uh, who had done the math. Uh, and he discovered that the average diameter of a bowling ball Good old bowling ball, regulated game, so the balls are all about the same, uh, is about eight inches in diameter, which means if you cut it in half, exactly in half, and then you went from one side of the circle through the center, it would be more like, like that, through the center to the other side, it would be eight inches. So if you had the flat circle, you can imagine going across from one side through the center to the other side, uh, and it's eight inches in diameter. Well, guess what? The sun is, uh, if you round it down, is a roughly 800,000 miles in diameter. The diameter of the sun is 800,000 miles. Yes, you guessed it. One inch equals 100,000 miles miles. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, with that in mind, how big would the Earth be? Hmm. Well, you might have guessed by my presentation, my fabulous presentation in front of me, that the Earth is not a baseball or tennis ball, but some people guess that. It's, it's fun. Ask people. Uh, now that you, when you've learned this, ask people what size, if the if the sun is a bowling ball, how big is the earth? What size ball or what size sphere would the earth be? And, and name a common object you think would be that size. And they would, a lot of times people say ping pong ball, golf ball, um, marble. Uh, but it's interesting what people will say. So ask that question in your conversation starters. So, uh, looking at the the balls, the other size spheres that we can use to represent the planets, the first question is, how big is the Earth? Well, the Earth is the third planet from the sun, so one, two, three, the Earth is a peppercorn. That's right, that's what these are, peppercorns. Got these from Kroger, your regular brand black peppercorns you put them in the grinders you know the you go <laughs> say when on your caesar salad so i poured out a bunch of my peppercorns and i looked through my hand and i found the two largest ones and i decided that would be earth and venus and then i found one of the smallest ones in my hand and that's about the size of mars because this is kind of cool but um, Venus is a little bit smaller than Earth, and Earth is almost two times bigger, twice the size of Mars. So, isn't that cool? And then uh, Mercury, you know, is really tiny. It's hard to think of a sphere to represent Mercury, and um, it's so close to the sun, and it's really, really small. I've thought about a mustard seed, but unless you go to Sunday school, you might not know how big a mustard seed is. A lot of people don't use mustard seeds in the kitchen very often anymore, and unless you, you've heard that somewhere, you might not, or seen that illustration, you might not know how big a mustard seed is. So I thought, hmm, the head of a pen is what the professor said, and the head of a pen is uh, a very, very small thing. like. I don't know when you think of a pen, what you think of, but when I think of a pen, I think of something like this. Uh, this is a straight pen, um, a tiny, ow, oh, I always poke myself with these pens, but it's a tiny 
little straight pin and you can see the circle, the size of the head of the pin there. Very small. It's quite an insult if someone says uh, you're a pinhead. Yeah, no one would say that. Nobody we know, because we don't call people names. But anyway, it's a very small pin head. Um, but that's a lot of people think of, uh, don't see these pins and don't think of this anymore as don't pull that image up in their mind. So I found these candy sprinkles, and they're about the same size as a mustard seed and uh, and a pin head. And, and so I think it, it's a lovely little planet Mercury. You could paint it orange if you want to. Um, anyway, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And then we are turn here to the next planet, and this is the one that's got rings on it. It's hard to find a sphere, common sphere with rings on it, but a marble is almost exactly the size of just a regular old marble, you know, like people shoot marbles. In the old days, you say, oh, let's play some marbles. <laughs> My grandfather was a marble champion. Oh, yeah. That didn't rub off on me. Anyway, whoa, don't listen. So marble is the size of Saturn. And uh, if you have a good telescope, you can see Saturn's rings when it's in the right place in orbit and you can see it really well. Very cool. So then the next size is Jupiter. And Jupiter is the biggest one, obviously. And what's really cool is mathematically, it truly is almost the size of uh, a bouncy ball. Uh, that you get out of the gumball machine, the quarter gumball machine, or a uh, the size of, which is actually the same size as a piece of gum, a gumball, an actual gumball you'd get out of a 25 cent gumball machine. Um, or, you know, like we were talking about marbles, there's another size marble called the Aggie. And I'm, I don't know enough about the game to know when the Aggie is used, but um, I will tell you it is about, well, it's actually the exact same size as the bouncy ball. So you can use marbles or uh, a bouncy ball, whatever you will remember, whatever you think people will remember or be able to call up the image, the picture in their mind. And then uh, out here, we used to use peanuts uh, until we, when we were insensitive to allergies, but now we realize how many people are allergic to peanuts and we want everyone to feel comfortable in our presentation and guess what? Everybody knows the size of a coffee bean. In fact, probably better now than the size of peanuts, but because uh, of Starbucks, thank you Starbucks. And uh, coffee beans are almost the perfect size um, to represent Neptune and Uranus or Uranus. And um, so uh, they're not real spherical though. But it's hard to think of, if you've come up with a better sphere that people can close their eyes and picture, let me know. I was thinking peas, but there's petite peas, and then there's the great big green, bright green ones my grandma puts in the salad. And, and then some people don't even eat peas, so I don't know if they would know what size a pea is. But anyway, this is what I was thinking uh, coffee beans would be good. So... And then, so the people in Arizona don't get mad, you have to put Pluto on there. And Pluto's actually smaller than the little white sprinkle. So I would probably go to some little orange crystal sugar. I actually had some, um, I had some uh, sea salt that was the right coarseness. Oh, there we go. Oops, that's too many. Now we have three Plutos. But I don't know if you can see this stuff. It's that candy. It's, it's tiny. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's, ooh, now there's five of them, oh, six of them floating around in our solar system. You get the picture. It's smaller than Mercury. In fact, considerably smaller than Mercury, closer to the size of our moon. And um, it's way out there, but we're going to include it so everyone feels included, and clu including Pluto. So, there you go. That's the solar system. Tune in next time when we think about how far apart all of these spheres are. Oh my goodness. 
See you then.